Money, 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 money. Money, money. Mm. What's up, YouTube? Coming back at you again with another video, man. I love all of y'all. Appreciate all the love and support, man. All my new subscribers, old subscribers, ones who unsubscribe but still watch my videos. Love you. Hey, hey, I'm just dropping the messages. You know, you get in your feelings. Love you. Or if I'm not talking about Bible verses all the time in every video I drop and you don't like that, then take your holier than, than thou ASS on somewhere and go kick the biggest rock down the street. So what's up, YouTube? Coming at you with this one, man. This one about money. Money, 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 money. How many people in this world love money? I made a video like a month ago two months ago about money and stuff i just want to make another updated video because of course for the things that i've been seeing online how people been acting how worse it's getting when it's come when it's something dealing with money money bro oh my gosh let me ask you a question how many people do you know right now or can you think of oh let's put it like this how many people can you just just take a guess at how many had died already because of money? Over some money. Think about that. How many how many people have you have you thought about? I mean how, how many people can you can you just picture in your mind that's that have passed on already? So is in is is in the afterlife now, not here no more on this earth over a dollar bill. People are dying over some foolish, stupid stuff nowadays. And the most high is letting it. The most high letting it go. Let letting it just happen. Go ahead. Because if you're not living for the most high anyway, what makes you think that the most high is gonna allow you to just be here just doing any and everything, whatever you want to do? Sinful, oh, especially if you a sinful person. But well, what they say, we all sinners. Yeah, we all are sinners, but willful sinners, uh, sinning, doing your sins, and you know that it sins. Uh, that's something different. When it comes to money, a lot of sin comes. Uh oh. When it comes to money, money, for the love of money, is the root of all evil. For the love. Catch that one. You got to listen to that one word. The love of money. You got church people out here right now who's, who act like they scared of money. Act like they scared of money because they see the Bible scripture for the love of money is the root of all evil. It says the love. If you are in love with money, that's the problem. But, what, but just because you see that scripture in the Bible doesn't mean that you got to stop working hard. Oh, I'm going to go and um, um, quit my job now because... Uh, God said, don't love money. Really? And then them, them bills start coming. You're going you gonna to start overlooking that scripture. <laughs> Come on now. Church people. That's, that's church people for you. How many people, celebrities, can you see right now that loves money? Love money. All they talk about in their music is money. All they preach about is money. All they sing about is money. They making movies talking nothing about money. How many family members right now do you know that love money? Will kill you over, oh my gosh. Will kill you over some money. Over a dollar bill. Stop talking to you. Because of money. They ask you for something, you tell them no. That's it. Oh, y'all not family no more. Y'all not family no, uh, no more. Y'all not family. Because of a dollar bill. Over some money. Why? Because they love money. They love money so much. They willing to to sacrifice the, the family. They willing to sacrifice their the relationship. The marriage. Because of a dollar bill. So many people are getting divorces right now. Because of a dollar bill. So many people are, they, they, they won't even, they won't even, you know, they, they're mean people. Let's put it like that. 
they're mean people because of a dollar bill. Sitting on this high horse because they're making they're making so much money in this life. Dissing people. Let's go to black people. What's up with black people? Huh? What's up with black people? Us black people, we 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 love each other. We so nice and so humble when we in, in the in the process. When we in the struggle, in the hood, and we don't got that much money, we don't really got anything. I'm trying to make a come up. But then as soon as we get that dollar bill in our pocket, as soon as we get that good paying job, as soon as we get that that raise, that good old, that nice contract, all of a sudden now, we dissing people, we not friendly anymore, we mean as hell. Everybody that we get into it with, oh, they broke. I don't want to talk to that broke nigga. I don't want to talk to that broke person and stuff. I'm so tired of hearing these these black people online and stuff dissing other people because that other person don't got what they got. Looking down on people. That's black people. Yeah, I'm talking I'm talking to us black people. Yes, I am. Which I don't like black because I'm not the same color as this, but this is what y'all understand by. We dissing people. We we're not loving people no more. We're not we're not loving anymore. We Everybody, once again, everybody that we get into it with, I don't want to talk to that that um um broke nigga, man man he broke man I don't want to talk to you nigga you broke. Oh these 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 niggas oh here go the female these these niggas are broke out here. These these niggas are broke. I don't want nothing to do with these niggas. They broke. It's sad. It's sad what's going on. Why? But why does it have to be like that, y'all? Why can't we just be humble? Be humble. Because at, because newsflash, at one point, you didn't have that money. You didn't have that car. You didn't have that house. Now that you got it, now you dissing people. Now you don't know how to act. Well, you do know how to act. You now you now you acting like you just you just uh you just almighty now. Now you acting like you damn Jesus. Like like you just Queen Sheba or King Dingaling now where you can walk around here dissing people because you got a dollar bill in your pocket. Because you wearing some ugly jewelry. You wearing some ugly shoes, some ugly designers. And most of us black people right now, we going broke because we making somebody else rich. You going broke for making somebody else uh, wealthy. You going up in that Chanel store. You going up in that Gucci store. You going up in that that uh uh fake Chinese Chinese people hair hair stores. You a uh, fella. You you going up in there trying to get your uh get these these freaking ugly grills. You spending a hundred thousand dollars on a watch. You spending eight hundred thousand dollars on a ugly car. A ugly car. That if you and you pay it straight out, then it, then as soon as you get on that road, you get into a terrible accident. The car told the loss. Now you ain't getting eight hundred thousand back. You ain't getting eight hundred thousand back. Oh, but brother, we we only we only got one life. Spin it up while you here and stuff. The most I said, store up, store up, save, leave an inheritance. Well, I got money saved up already, brother. I got money saved up. I mean, but what you don't realize is that you got money saved up and you got other money to play with. But something can happen in your life where you that money that you playing with, it's going it's, it could disappear. And now you got to go in that savings account and go play with that savings money now. Why? Because now you got to go sell your jewelry. Uh oh, you got to go sell your car, sell your house and stuff now. You got to go sell all this stuff now. Why? Because you you trying to stunt. And it's going for all race now. Not just black people. This this for all race now. You trying to stunt. You want everybody to look at you. You want everybody to see. see this is what happens when you get money. Money deceives the mind. Satan blind. Oh, goodness. Satan blinds the minds of the unbelievers which in the bible it says that satan blinds the minds of the ones who believe not 
that is a thousand, a hundred million thousand percent true. And guess what Satan is using? So when I think about that scripture, it says, what, so what is Satan doing to blind people? What is Satan doing? That, how is he able to blind the minds of the unbelievers? How is he able to do that? But then I, but then it just came to me like, what's the, what's, what's another people God in this life? If it ain't the most high, then what's their other God? Dollar bill? Okay. So that's what he's doing. Ain't that, ain't, ain't that true? When somebody getting all this money and stuff, they don't want to hit nothing no more. Why? Because their, their money is too important. You see all these people sitting at these, these award shows. These award shows and all this at the, the uh, Grammys and ESPYs, the Oscars and BET Awards and VMAs. All these people who sit there and they sit out there feeling themselves. Uh-oh. They sit out there feeling themselves on national television. Why? Because when they, they probably sitting sitting in there in their seats on their phone looking at their they, uh, uh, bank account. Reminding them of of how much money they have, reminding them to, basically reminding themselves to be to be ego egotistical, reminding themselves to 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 keep looking down on people. I ain't saying everybody who rich is is like this. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is majority of the people, yes, majority of them, yes, they are full of themselves, man. Bolsters. Proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Let's let's go let's go to some scriptures. Since we're talking about money, Ecclesiastes is five and ten. Whoever loves money never has enough. What does that mean? Whoever loves money never have enough. Well, let's go back to that scripture. For the love of money is the root of all evil for the love of money now the bible the most high is clear on he likes a cheerful uh, a cheerful giver the most high is is uh the most high loves to see you know people working storing up wealth working towards wealth the most high loves to see that but if you're if you're one of the ones who you get your wealth and then it becomes your god now you have be you have made it your God, and now it has become your emotional distress. How celebrities be saying now, this is my emotional distress. Um, I'm the one now. Now I gotta uh, um, I need to I need to keep going after this money. They already got billions, and now they gotta keep coming up with stuff to keep getting more. They already got millions. So now they got to keep on finding new ways to rob people, rob the poor to stay rich. This is what the Bible is. This is what they're talking about. When you have a lot of money, when you are in love with money, you never have enough. It's never good enough for you. Somebody comes to mind when I think about that. Somebody always comes to my mind. Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. He... I love Floyd. I think he is one of the. I think he's top five greatest uh, boxers of all time. But when you see Floyd Mayweather, one thing that I hate about Floyd is how materialistic he is. And then I understand. I understand when you come from poverty, you come from nothing, and you want. And you know, you want that stuff. You don't want to go back to poverty. But my thing is, why do you have to? Even though you came from poverty, why do you have to be out here flaunting it like that? Doing all that? That's just doing too much. I'm going to uh, move the camera because it's getting a little overheated. Why do you have to, to do all that? There is no reason that you have to be out here keep keep on, you know, talking about, I, nah, I need more money. I need more money. I need more and more and more. Now, there's no problem that you're getting money. But the problem is, is all you... Every time he does an interview, all you hear him say is money. Money, how much money he made, how much this he, how much money he bought to make, how much this, how much that. He got all this money, what he doing in his life. Go get you a wife, bro. Go get you a wife. Keep yourself occupied. He don't got no, he don't got no, no wife. 
and I'm not saying it's a bad thing that he don't have a wife, but I'm just saying, like, he need to go do something else with himself to um, stay out the limelight, <laughs> you know? First Peter 5 and 2, don't be greedy for money. How many people greedy for money? This world robs the poor to stay rich. Robbing the poor to stay rich. This world is coming up with something new every year to keep you from getting your tax money. Uh-oh. You can't get your tax money. Why? Because they, they too busy over there coming up with a new plan to take your money. You got to pay taxes when when you already, they already taking taxes from your, from your check and you got to still pay taxes. Think about that. These, these, these billionaires and millionaires want you to pay them. They want you to, they want to keep your money. It's a shame, bro. That's why it's important that you really do have stuff paid off, though. I like to have stuff paid off. Now, yeah. Except for a car. Car, I, I keep paying on the car, but like houses and stuff, yeah. A lot this world, this is a greedy world. Proverbs 13, 16, a wise man thinks ahead. A fool doesn't. And even brags about it. Storing up wealth. Storing up wealth. How many people are storing up wealth? How many people are saving money? How many people saving? Not too many people. Why? Because because they got to keep on buying all this stuff. They got to keep buying all this stuff. Okay? And just to say, well, I'm the only one in the world with this. I'm the first person to get this. Nobody else in the world has this but me. And they want to brag about it. There it is. It, it, a fool doesn't think ahead and even brags about it. Hey man, I gotta live in I gotta live in the now, bro. I'm gonna spend money right here because I'm just gonna make it right back. That's not the good thing. That, that's that's not a good mindset to have. What type of mindset is that? You gotta understand, y'all. You can be up one day and down the same day. You can be down the same exact day. You gotta be careful when you when you uh just out here just blowing money like that. You gotta think ahead. Think ahead. Think about the future. Matthew chapter six verses two through five. When when you give to the needy, uh oh, let's go to this one. When you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets. Okay, as the hypocrites do in the in the uh, synagogues and on the street to be honored by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But God will reward in private. Listen, this is, I made a comment about this already. That is something that I hate to see. And I don't like to use the word hate. But, hey, that's just what it is, you know? I hate to see it. These YouTubers, they be online and... They make all these videos, these pranks videos, these other videos, these vlogs, vlogging in the camera about what they buying, vlogging about what about smoking weed, uh, vlogging about smash or passes, vlogging about all this irrelevant stuff. But then you got you got these people, you got these ones over here in the streets who don't got anything. Now I'm not saying you know. For every celebrity needs to be giving their money to the needy. No, I'm not saying that because the needy also has to work too. Homeless people also have to work too. Yes, you do. Man don't work, man don't eat. That's scripture. Man don't work, man don't eat. When you when you feed the needy, don't go boasting and bragging about it like this world does. Boasting and bragging about it. They don't care. This is a selfish world that we're, we're living in. They don't care. Everybody fend for themselves. Ain't nobody thinking about the poor. Especially not the government. They're not thinking about the poor. They 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 they, they making up plans to rob the poor. They want to rob the poor. Take all your money. 
That's what they want to do. Don't don't brag about what you do for the needy if you are doing it to get a hand clap. And then after you done filming, see what they do, they go buy pizza, film it, go to the streets and feed the poor, showing them feeding the poor, and then that's it. That's the only video that they got. And then two years later, they make another one. But the rest of the, but the other videos that are coming after the feeding the needy is showing you the cars that they buying, showing you the jewelry that they buying and stuff. Hey, bro, I gotta keep my content going and stuff. Nah, you want people just to uh, no, no. You want to stunt. That's what you want to do. You want to stunt. Don't brag about it because look at it right here. It said, "Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full." The Most High, the Bible says. Okay, which the Most High says, whatever a man soweth, that also shall they reap. You will reap what you sow. You you sow bountifully, you're gonna reap bountifully. So sparingly, you're gonna you're gonna reap sparingly. I, I don't think I'm saying that word right, but I mean like if you sow small, you're gonna reap small. If you sow big, you're gonna you're gonna reap the big big rewards. But this scripture right here is telling you that they already received their, their full reward. And what's that? The hand claps that they, they get from other people? You know, you're not going to get reward from the most high by by uh feeding the needy and then bragging about it. You go online and you bragging about what you're doing. You bragging to other people about what you're doing. These people in the church buildings, they, they, they be tied in the offering. They tied... Uh, five thousand dollars or one thousand or five hundred dollars, and all of a sudden they they go let the pastor know, and they want the pastor to to let everybody know what they they did. They want they want a full hand clap. They want their name to be called out. They want people to to stand up and get them a standing ovation, clap their hands for them, speak in tongues for them. You already got your full reward right there. All the hand claps and all that stuff. Hey, congratulate. Hey, good job. Thank you. But the most I ain't ain't pleased with that. That ain't nothing. You want people to see what you doing. You want people to to you want people to worship you, praise you, worship you. And the most high is the only one who get the praise and worship. So when it comes to this money, y'all, money, your family will kill you over a dollar bill. Your family would kill you. Straight up murder you over a dollar bill. They love you at one point, but then when you start to make money, let me tell you something. Your family is not is not proud of you. Your family is not happy for you. I want people to understand that your family is not happy for you. Your family is jealous of you. And guess what? They're going to start asking you for everything. If you become successful or something, they're going to expect you to take care of them. Don't do it. Don't do that. They're only going to be around you for the money. Your friend, these people who want to be your friends, only going to be around you for a dollar bill. Don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. The Bible speaks plenty of scriptures of how a rich person, when a rich person speaks, everybody shuts their mouth up. When a rich person speaks, everybody shut their mouth up. But when a poor person speaks, don't nobody want to listen to them. Don't nobody want to listen to no, no poor person talk. Why? Because they're not rich. We can't learn nothing from no poor person. Who said that? Who said that? Well, apparently they did. But who taught you that? Where did you get that from? Who put that deceiving stuff in your mind? Satan. When homeless people out here, they got they they got some of the best knowledge and wisdom that, that you will ever come into. Don't don't forget a lot of these homeless people have degrees. They have spiritual wisdom. They know a lot about God. But it's just that. Drugs get to them. It's the drugs, man. Drugs, oh gosh. Drug addictions is it's a serious thing. But when you see stuff like this, y'all, people who want their name called out, people who just brag and boast about what they got going on, 
get away from them type of people. Get away from those type of people, y'all. Stay away from them. They're hypocrites. That's what they are. They're hypocrites. Okay? But a rich person in his life also says that a rich person has many friends. Rich people have many friends. They do. So-called friends. But you got the power to get them out your life, though. A poor person don't have any friends. A poor person is looked down on, overlooked. Think about that. So, y'all, if you ever become successful or rich in this life and you watch this video and you become rich one day, don't be like this. Don't be like any of this stuff that the Most High is not pleased with. You know, these people in this world right now, money is their God. Money is these people God. If these people are going to have a rude awakening on Judgment Day, money is their God. Now, once again, it's not bad to work towards money. You're supposed to keep working towards something. Work, work while you're still here. But don't make it your God to the point where you are bragging about it. All these people do is brag about, I hate, I hate this. They brag about how much money they making. I hate, the, I hate to be around people like that, man. I do. Bragging about what they have, bragging about what they what they just accomplished and all that. I oh my gosh. Don't be like that, y'all. Don't please don't be like that. 